The Duchess of Cambridge stepped out this week in the lover's not tiara, an old favourite of Princess Diana, while Camilla chose the Greville tiara, once owned by the Queen Mother. But as these fascinating photographs show, the royals have been recycling their priceless collection of jewels for centuries. Kate falls for Diana's favourite this tiara is perfect for the Duchess of Cambridge, who wore it for the Queen's annual diplomatic reception at Buckingham Palace this week, it's called the Cambridge Lovers Not Tiara. And it is becoming a favourite, since she wore it at a state dinner welcoming King Philippe and Queen Letizia of Spain at the palace in July this year. The tiara is so named because it is closely modelled on a 200-year-old Gothic revival tiara owned by Queen Mary's grandmother, Augusta of Hesse, the last Duchess of Cambridge before Kate. It was commissioned by Queen Mary, wife of George V, from Crown Jewelers Garrett in 1914, using pearls and diamonds already owned by the royal family. It has 19 diamond arches, each framing a pearl pendant. After Mary died in 1953, the tiara passed to the Queen, who wore it several times in the 50s. In 1981, the Queen loaned the tiara to Princess Diana after her wedding. Diana wore it often at formal events, and it became one of her most iconic looks. The tiara was returned to the Queen after the tragic death of Diana. It was not seen in public again until the Kate wore it to the 2015 diplomatic reception. It broke on the Queen's wedding day it broke on the Queen's wedding day. Princess Anne wore this diamond fringe tiara for her marriage to Captain Mark Phillips in 1973, as did the Queen for her wedding in 1947. On the Queen's big day, the frame snapped, according to an account from the jeweler's Garrard. The Queen Mother said, we have two hours and we have other tiaras. But Elizabeth wanted this one, which was urgently repaired by Garrard, although there was a visible gap between the central fringe and the spike to the right. The Queen Mary Kokoschnik tiara was commissioned by Mary in 1919 and is inspired by the Kokoschnik tiaras worn by the Romanovs before the Russian Revolution. It was fashioned from a necklace given by Queen Victoria. The 488 diamonds are set in gold, with 47 diamond bars and diamond spikes. Margaret the Debunkanti danced until 3 a.m. The Duchess of Cambridge is the most recent royal to wear this delicate Cartier halo tiara as something borrowed for her marriage to Prince William in 2011. It was first worn by the Queen Mother when she was still Duchess of York, at a black tie event in 1936. It was designed by Cartier and has 739 brilliant diamonds and 149 baguette-cut diamonds, taking its name from its halo shape. The Queen Mother gave it to her daughter Princess Elizabeth as an 18th birthday present, thought to be her first ever tiara. The Queen has never been pictured with it in public, but she lent it to her sister Princess Margaret, who wore it as a young debutante in Paris at the decadent Hertford Hospital Ball in November 1951, where she stayed until past 3 a.m. She chose it when she sat for an official portrait by photographer Cecil Beaton in 1965. In 1969, Princess Anne wore her hair in a beehive with the tiara at a gal theatre performance. Bequest from Queen Mother's friend the Duchess of Cornwall selected the Greville tiara, on loan from the Queen, for Tuesday night's diplomatic reception. She has worn this diamond tiara many times, including at a Commonwealth Heads of Government dinner in Uganda, in 2007, and the Commonwealth Heads of Government dinner in Sri Lanka in 2013. The tiara, also referred to as the Bukharan tiara, features a honeycomb pattern design. It was originally made by Bukharan jewellers for British society hostess Margaret Greville in 1921. 
When she died in 1942, Margaret left it to the Queen Mother who altered the tiara, increasing its height and add, 